so it's almost time. Uh, let's do something a little bit of fun. So you know like what the MATLAB logo is? Okay, so this is an article I found on MathWorks website written by Cliff Moller, which is the, uh, the founder of MathWorks. So, uh, so like, we hope you've seen it many times. It turns out to be an eigenvalue problem of the wave equation, right? So this is exactly the same operator we discretized, but instead of this is equal a plus f is equal to zero, it is plus a certain lambda times the solution v itself is equal to zero. That is what's called an eigenvalue problem. All right. So, to solve an eigenvalue problem, we just say whatever matrix we constructed times u, instead of plus f is equal to zero, we say plus lambda u is equal to zero, right? So that's, uh, we solve the eigenvalue problem. So we use exactly the same matrix. And uh, for example, let's stick to the matrix we constructed. We try to solve the eigenvalue problem. And MATLAB has a has uh, two functions you generally use to solve the eigenvalue problem. One is eig, one is eig s. So eig s works for large sparse matrices, and that's what we are going to use. So we are going to solve. Uh, let's say the only we want to just get one eigenvalue, an eigenvector. So let's first get get eigenvalue. Uh, smallest magnitude is the one we want to get right now. So it computed the eigenvalue to be minus 19 point something. All right. OK, so in order for us to get the eigenvector, we want to be v and d equal to that. So we get uh, uh, d to be the same number. v is now the eigenvector. So uh, let's uh, surf. This, uh, instead of u, we reshape v to be a vector of n minus 1 and n. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, I did, uh, I did the regular a. I didn't do the a new. So, yeah. So, so it should be n minus 1 and n minus 1. Right. So, this is the... This is the eigenfunction of the MATLAB's uh, uh, the, the, the Laplacian operator. It's different from what, what the MathWork logo is because the MathWork logo works on the L-shaped domain. So it sets this part to zero, right? Okay, it sets a quarter of this uh, domain to be, to be zero. So let's see how to do that in MATLAB here. So what we do is we have the matrix A, right? And the matrix A is going to be n minus 1 by n minus 1 times n minus 1, uh, sorry, n minus 1 times n minus 1 by n minus 1 times n minus 1. So we're going to replace rows of the matrix to a fixed value. So we are going to replace corresponding rows of the matrix to the part of the domain that is uh, set to 0 as uh, to be identity. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So for i goes from 1 to 50, so which is part of the domain. Uh, for j goes from 1 to 50, right? So these are, let's say, the part of the domain we want to set the eigen, uh, we, we want to set the solution to 0. So we're going to set uh, index is going to be, we're going to be doing the indexing again. Uh, i minus 1 times n minus 1 plus j. So that's the index corresponding to the that particular i and j index of the two-dimensional domain. We set the corresponding row to be 0 and uh, the corresponding diagonal entry to be 1. Okay, so this is a modification to the matrix, right? So now let's solve the eigenvalue problem of A. And let's solve that again. Uh, okay, so I, I think I think instead of setting it to one, which makes uh, I think these are the eigenvalues corresponding to to this. Uh, we can see we get a bunch of noise in the part we set it. So so that means these diagonal entries I didn't set to be large enough. So let's 
let's do this again. Uh, let's set the diagonal entries to be something valued and uh, int int to be something huge. Uh, usually, usually one over delta x square is uh, enough. Let's just to be sure, make it ten. So that this is not going to corrupt our, this is not going to go back to our smallest eigenvalue because previously the smallest eigenvalue is one, which actually corresponds to the entries we set. Okay, so so now let's compute this again and serve that. Uh, here's what we get, right? So we get a uh, function that pretty much looks like what MATLAB is uh, is having as its logo, right? There are still differences. I never figured out uh, what boundary condition MATLAB actually used to get this. <laughs> it's weird, right? It's not Dirichlet. It's not Newman, but some, something, right? I mean, if you if you figure out, uh, uh, let me know, right? <laughs> Basically, using using the code I I I, I used to compute the eigenfunctions. All right. I will see you next Monday.